Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm back in the shop. Um, I've just decided on the scent of the week. Thai lime and mango, that was going on. I've just got to get rid of the old one. Um, it's been an interesting few days. Hang on, let me find that. Sorry, I've done a little tea light. Uh, interesting few days. Um, so I think I mentioned in maybe my last video that I had a little dark cloud looming over me and I've had it for a little while and I have to be careful of that little dark cloud that it doesn't become a big dark cloud. And um, there were just some signs that uh, the cloud was getting a little bit bigger. So I've decided to make some changes. Um, I'm not gonna go into them at all now, but one of them is that I will be making less YouTube videos. They're very time consuming and um, and when I'm not in the right frame of mind, they're very draining as well. So I'm gonna make them, I'm not gonna have a set schedule. I'm hoping to do at least once a week. And, um, but we will see how it pans out. Life is, like that isn't it so there's no point me making any grand statements we'll just see what happens uh had a really nice weekend what day is it tuesday so sunday my husband got up fairly early it's not crack of dawn kind of early but six ish went to the car boot and um got there and there was only about half a dozen cars you know and that included a plants two plant stalls and one with just toys and things so there's barely anything there so luckily we were by the sea so we went and enjoyed a little walk along the seafront at um west bay uh that was really nice and then yesterday we did a bit of cleaning in the house and things and then a friend of ours that we've known for 30 years came to visit us um and we went and had a drive to sidmouth the weather was a bit iffy but it was really nice to see the sea again so twice in one weekend that's really nice um my husband and him have gone off now they're going to Torquay for the night and um i'm gonna get on with some work we did manage to pick up a few bits from the car boob so i will show you those um and i need to say thank you to at least helen um but i think there's possibly more i apologize if i haven't been on top form regarding saying thank yous because my brain's a little bit all over the place, but um, honestly, if you have sent an order through and I haven't said thank you, I really do appreciate it, I promise. Right, I'm just gonna get myself organized and then I'll show you the few things that I picked up from the car boot. It's about quarter past 11 now. I had some orders I needed to pack. Thank you to Louise and Anthony as well. Thank you very much. Thought I would show you quickly what I picked up on Sunday. Uh, mostly it was studio pottery. Um, there's this bowl. Can you see? And it is marked underneath. And I looked Bjork up and she is a potter working around the Dorset area. Um, and so I, there was a photo on her, I don't know, web page or whatever. And it was the lady who sold it to me. So she was selling some of her own pottery off, which was rather nice. So uh, I didn't realize it was hers when I bought it. It's a nice little cup there. There's another one. They're all slightly different, obviously. That's a mug. I mean, it must be amazing being able to make stuff like this, don't you think? That almost looks like a K. I should keep that one. Oh no, back to front for me. It's all right that I'm looking in the camera, but to me, it's back to front. Um. Go two more, that one, and that one. I think on first inspection, I think that one's my favourite. Like reeds coming up, don't they? Um, and then a couple of other things. A nice big jug. Don't know the maker. There is something underneath, but I can't quite make it out but I just thought it was a very nice big cream jug 
and uh, this Russian doll. I had a really big one, which I sold. Um, this one is a little bit tatty. There's only three dolls, but still, still a cool thing. That is everything that I picked up from the car boot this week. So my plan is to uh, make life a bit more about life and not all about work. At the weekend, I rekindled something that I enjoy doing and I haven't done for a very long time. I baked some cake. It's only a basic lemon tray bake, but I haven't done any baking in a very long time. I used to make bread regularly and cakes and all sorts, and I haven't done anything for a very long time. So it was nice. I did a lot of readings out. I'm just going to enjoy my big coffee and my lemony cake. Um, yeah, I've got to, to rediscover the things that I enjoy and not make it all about work. So sometimes it's a bit of a challenge because I keep going... I think, oh, I'll do this, and then it veers towards work. And I need to stop that. I need to find things that bring me joy that have nothing to do with earning money. <laughs> it's five o'clock, and um, I'm going to lock up. It's been quite a decent day, and I got quite a lot of things done, so I'm feeling good. And I made a lasagna for our dinner yesterday. And I've got leftovers for my dinner today and I'm quite excited because I love homemade lasagna. Oh, and some nice bread and some really gorgeous olives as well. So, <laughs> all is yeah. good. Who are you? Hello. <laughs> Where have you gone? Where have you gone? shop all day. Come and say hello. <laughs> oh, lovely. Good morning, it's Thursday, um, it's about nine o'clock, just come, oops, my dress just got caught, um, it's about nine o'clock, I am just going to open up in a minute, I think I'm going to sit and have a coffee before I put everything outside because uh, chances of seeing anybody are slim, yesterday I had the worst day I think I've ever had, I took two pounds, I did eventually give up at four o'clock, but I was still on two pounds and I can tell you it is soul destroying. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is why I need to make changes because it doesn't matter how busy you keep yourself. Uh, it still just gets to you. You can't explain it, but just spending time on your own in a shop, feeling trapped and not taking money. So feeling like you're doing something wrong it's not good okay so it's about 10 past 12. um it's been very quiet i have had a couple of sa sorry about two sales um but i can't see me much getting much more it's absolutely pouring out there anyway thank you to margot who uh, ordered on my website thank you very much and um i don't know what i'm gonna do now I've got things I can do, but my brain's just shut down. Good morning. It's Friday. Hang on. I just had to shut my door. Guy's car's broken down outside, so the like from the garage is trying to help him with it um yeah it's nine o'clock ish um i've got a delivery of some of the fair trade stuff coming today so um i think that's this morning and apart from that i don't have a lot going on this week um i'm just struggling with motivation and stuff at the moment so um <clears throat> yeah it's it's I want some sunshine. I just looked at the weekend for 
weather for the car boots and again it looks like it's going to be wet and rainy on Sunday Monday might be okay so might be able to go out on Monday but we'll see just need to snap out of my low mood get myself uh, in a better frame of mind I think so I've had delivery of my uh, fair trade stuff so I've got to work through that you can guarantee I've had nobody in all morning the chap walks in with the order literally with that a customer comes in and at the same time some old dear in a mobility scooter ran into all my stock outside all at the same time <laughs> it's like and then again it's gone quiet now no more customers nobody else nobody ramming into my stuff outside <sighs> i mean i should be grateful for that shouldn't i <laughs> it's about two o'clock it's been a really weird day i think i've been feeling out of sorts so that doesn't help um but I've had really very few customers in, but I've had some okay sales. So it's an um day, but it's been really eerily quiet. But I've got all that stuff print, printed, priced up that came in. I've got some, I've had that before, the mosaic sun, but I got some mosaic mirrors as well. Um, And then just a few bits that I've had before, like the, I'll show you. So I got the whale and the seahorse that I've had before. And I got this one, which is slightly different from the one I had before. See, that one's the one I got before. That one's slightly different. And then I also got, um, I don't know how to display it because I might have to move things around, but I got that shelf unit that looks like a boat. And then some wooden crates. And I think that was it. I'm questioning my life choices. I'm feeling that when I left school at 18, I should never have gone into retail. I should have got an office job. Then I'd be looking forward to three bank holidays this month. As it is, it makes zero difference to me. In fact, all it does is reduce my takings. <laughs> it's not good. Why don't I get bank holiday? Why three day weekends? Hmm, that's something to think about, isn't it? It's about 10 to 5 and I'm getting ready to lock up. I'm just starting to bring stuff in and switch lights off and things like that. Um, it's been an okay day actually in the end, so yay yay for that. I did a, I ordered some more of this jewellery and I had the ones in the purple boxes up here, but I've put all those in the window and I'm going to have all these here. So when the new stock comes in, it'll be easy for me just to live really up there. So I think I'm going to round up the vlog. Um, I hope you're all all right if you could give me a thumbs up i'd really do appreciate it obviously and uh leave me a little comment underneath something happy and cheery please um take care stay safe and i'll see you soon